Now we move on to the last sheet, which is about range. Now range is, the concept of range is defining a group of cells in VBA. Now the first example we're going to do here is we want to create a range that counts the number of stock codes. So we've got a whole bunch of stock codes here and company names and we want to define a range to count how many companies are listed there. So let's do that. So let's go into VBA. So it's a subroutine and macro called stock, we'll call it stock count. And we first have to define a, a variable like we did earlier. So we'll define this variable, we'll call it stock number, it's the number of stocks we've got there. And it, it'll be a number of stocks, so it'll be an integer, so as integer. And we'll go that stock number is equal to the range. Now we have to define where this range is. So we want it to count between G3, that's the first stock code, and G202. So G3 to G202. So we'll go range equals G3 to G202. So we want it to go rows dot count. So count the number of rows, which will be equal to the number of companies. So that, that subroutine there will effectively do 3A. That'll count the number of cells. The next thing we want to do in 3B is put that value into a cell. Put that into C11 there. Indicate the number of companies. So let's do that. So we'll go range C11 make its value equal to stock number, which is that variable we just defined there. So if we run that macro, stock count, bam, there you go, it's entered that 200, it's counted the number of stocks, there's 200 stock codes there, and then it's entered that number 200 into that cell C11, which is what we want to do. Now 3C, the last problem in this sheet, we want to get it to grab the first five company codes here and copy those codes into these cells below. So this is really useful later when you're dealing with a lot of data. Here you think, oh, you just go copy paste, that's easy. But it's actually, uh, it'll save a lot of time learning how to move um, cells around in VBA. All right, so let's do that. So we'll create a new subroutine called stock codes and we'll make it equal to the range so we have to define each range get it to go range C18 is equal to G3 so make that equal to that cell there so we'll go range C18 in quotes the value of that is equal to the range G3 Right, so that'll do that first first cell. Now we want the next one, which is G19 equal to G4. So we'll do that. G4. And then we'll do the same thing for the next one. We want G uh, C20 to be equal to G5. So exactly the same thing. And then to make it a bit easier, we can just copy paste it for the last two. So we want C21 equal to G6 and C22 equal to G7. So once we run this macro, that should put all those first five stock codes into there. So let's do that. So I'll go to stock codes, run, and there you go. It's put those first five stock codes into uh, those cells there. And that's it.